Hey everyone, today I am so excited to share with you seven, seven spring dresses, but not just any spring dresses. First of all, they're spring dresses you can wear every day. You do not need to wait for an occasion to wear these. These are the exact types of dresses that I wear on a daily basis as soon as the weather warms up because I live in a very hot climate. I live in San Antonio, Texas, where it averages about 95 degrees for seven, eight months out of the year with some pretty high humidity, but I hate shorts. So these are all warm weather, everyday casual real outfits that I have and will wear and even better, every single one of them is under $40. So I cannot wait to share those with you. But before we get to that, I'm super excited to let you know that today's video has a sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Necessaire. Today I wanna to talk about something that is really specific to getting ready for warm weather, bearing it, not quite all, but bearing arms, legs, skin that's been covered up for a few months because of winter. We're trying to get ready, trying to get our skin to look its best now that it's back on display. And they have released the body treatment set and it's three full-size products and all three of them together are worth $150, but they regularly sell for 110, but I have a discount code for 10% off, which will get you all three full-size products for $99. So let's take a look at what those are. First, I wanna start with the newest product in their line. It's called the Body Cream. So first of all, can we take a moment to admire the very sleek, minimalist packaging. It looks like a moisturizer, it is a moisturizer, but it has a lot of great stuff in it, which I can really appreciate. It's also fragrance-free, I should add, which I even more appreciate so that it doesn't mix with any fragrances I wanna layer afterwards. But as far as getting my skin ready for the spring, this is loaded with ceramides, it has glycerin, colloidal oatmeal, linoleic acid, all things to really moisturize and actually repair dry skin. So it's recommended that you use this once a day in any area that needs extra moisturization or all over your body. And what's great is you can use this by itself or you can combine it with the next product to kind of save a step in the application process. So the next product, I have really, really been enjoying. This is the body serum. So this you can use on its own. I've really been enjoying doing a pump of this and mixing it with a scoop of the body cream to apply it all over my arms and legs. But this is also great for dryness and it also addresses crepiness and eczema. It also has ceramides, it also has niacinamide, but it also has, it's a lot of also's, but it also has hyaluronic acid, which we all know helps amplify any other moisturizer that you're combining with it. So these two together work really, really well. And then the last of the three products that come in this set is also new. It's their neck serum. I have really been noticing these lines and I will admit I have not done a lot with them. Do we even need to talk about the tech neck with our head down in our phones or looking down at a laptop or some kind of device? That combined with aging has not been my friend. So the neck serum addresses those concerns. It also has multiple peptides, niacinamide, and rose water, which helps soothe the more sensitive area of our neck. With the neck serum, it will help address all those aging concerns, help with firming the skin, improve my necklines, and it's just super easy to apply. Again, it's a very beautiful package, I must say. Just a pump of this, I put it on in upward strokes on my neck and across my whole decollete every evening after I do my facial skincare. So again, if you want to get all three products, for 10% off, $99, use my code, which will be right here, and it'll also be down in the description box. So dress number one is an empire waist. It comes in two colors, black, and then the one that you're seeing here, and all the links, pricing, and sizing information will also be down in the description box, as well as all the accessories that I'm sharing with you. So one of the things that I wanted to do is not just show you each dress, but show you each dress how I would wear it out of my house. So in this case, for me, spring, we go straight into like 85, 90 something degree weather, but for a lot of the country, it still gets a little bit cool. So while the dress is great on its own, you can obviously throw something over it. I would put a denim, well, I did. I put on a denim jacket over it, love it with a crossbody bag. It's sort of just an everyday, easy kind of outfit. Of course, we have to talk about the sunglasses. I have this pair of sunglasses in three different colors. You're gonna see them again later in the video in a different lens frame, but the all black, black lenses, black frame, probably are my current favorites. And of course, you can wear any of these dresses with all kinds of different shoe options. 
I'm just gonna share with you what I am most likely to wear myself, but I am most comfortable with a little bit of a heel. So I am wearing these braided sandals, which have been popular for years. When they first came out, they only came out in a handful of colors. Now there are so many. And because they are still popular, the good news is they have been released by other manufacturers at a much more budget-friendly price. So I have linked in the description box the shoes I'm actually wearing and then the more budget-friendly version as well. And I will say I have just ordered a pair of those too, so I'll be able to review those for you when they get here. But this dress, it's just easy. It hides the things I want it to hide, but I don't feel like it adds any bulk. It's really lightweight. I love the slits on the side. They don't go too high up, but they allow movement of the dress and make it look a little less stiff, if that's the right word. And I feel really, really comfortable in this dress. So this next option feels a little dressier for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's definitely a more conservative cut. Even though it's above the knee, it's just the way it's shaped is a little more conservative. So if you're looking for something that maybe you wanna to wear to church or even to work, which we'll see in a minute, I think this dress could cross that line. But depending on how you accessorize it, you can make it super casual. Just throw on flats or sneakers and you know, sunglasses and a crossbody and you're good for the day. But for me, you know, I love those braided sandals. So that's how I would choose to wear it. Now, if I wanted to wear this into a more conservative work environment, easy fix, throw in a blazer, add some more office type shoes. So in this case, I love this blazer. I think these tones go well together. They're both sort of earth tones. Honestly, into summer, I would prefer more of a linen blazer. Those are starting to come out, but any kind of blazer will dress it up. And of course you cannot go wrong with Pumps, I know pointed toe pumps can be very polarizing. Let me explain my position, especially on these particular pointed toe pumps. A pointed toe makes the leg look longer. It just lengthens and slenderizes your leg. I understand some people have some concerns about the comfort level of pointed toe shoes. I would not wear something that hurts and I would never recommend you to wear something that hurts. That's insane. These shoes I have worn for eight, nine, 10 hour days, walking around, standing, they are comfortable. The pointed toe of it, your foot isn't in it. That's just a little extra thing at the end. There's plenty of room in the toe box because I don't have officially wide feet, but I feel like my feet are as wide as I can get without requiring wide shoes. So when I tell you these are comfortable, they're comfortable. They also come in a million colors. I'm exaggerating a little, several of which are on serious discount. And so those are linked below and I own, I don't know, five or six pairs of them at this point. It's not normal. Now this next one, I have two of the patterns that it comes in and they've released even more. So definitely check the link to see what has come out for this spring. It's very flowy. I had to size down on this. I'm wearing an extra small in this dress. It does have pockets. I, if I can get a dress with pockets, that's the route I'm going to go. I can wear this to go to the grocery store. I use that as my frame of reference because that's pretty much my consistent outing is to walk into either a grocery store, the drug store, a store. There's a lot of shopping that go, I, you know, I don't go and volunteer in schools anymore, but I would definitely wear this if I were doing something like that. It's just a nice everyday dress. I'd wear this to lunch with friends. I'd do this for casual dinner night out, any of these dresses. So this flutter sleeve maxi dress, I like, again, you can adjust the waist the way you want it. It has pockets, it's flowy, and it's a true maxi dress. I am five foot four, but it's not so long that it's gonna hit the ground in flats. So I have worn this with flats. I have dressed it up with heels. Today, I'm wearing it with these silver braided sandals. I like silver and a dark blue together. I think it looks really pretty. And then to bring out the white, pattern sort of in this dress. I added this white crossbody bag. I actually bought this bag a few months ago and I'm finally now taking it out. I think it's the perfect size for just every day walking around. And I love that wider strap as well. If it's cold out or cooler out, I think a utility jacket or a denim jacket over it would work really well also. But I just am babbling about this dress. So let's move on to the next one. So in this case, this particular dress, I would say is the dressiest of the dresses. There's just something about the way 
that it's cut. And I wanna emphasize why I picked the dresses that I picked. I'm picking them for my body type and I'm hoping by sharing them that they will work for your body type as well. Obviously there's gonna be variations, but I'm five foot four, I have an hourglass figure, a little bit curvy. I definitely have the mom pooch. And so I'm looking for something that helps accentuate my figure if possible in the, in the good parts hides the things I don't necessarily want on display. And if it doesn't hug my body, it's because, like I said, I live in a super hot, pretty humid climate. And when it gets to that level of heat, you don't want anything touching your body. So short of walking around naked, these options are the next best thing. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this orange dress. It does come in a blue-black combination, but I think this orange is perfect for spring and summer. It also comes with a belt that I took off. I just felt like it wasn't necessary. So I'm including this dress because a lot of people are planning vacations, so am I, and you don't wanna bring your entire closet, although I've been known to do that. So this dress can work in a very casual situation, and then you can dress it up depending on the accessories. So let's start with the dressed up part. So just to dress it up, all I did was add slightly dressier shoes, although the shoes are super budget friendly. These are flat form raffia sandals, meaning they have a very low heel and a little bit of a platform, but they give a little bit of height to your legs. So these are really easy to walk around. If you're a little leery of walking around in heels, you might wanna check out these sandals. I love the spring trend and spring summer trend of raffia. And so I paired it with this bag you've probably seen me talk about in our spring trends video. Depending on how you hold it, you can either show off the pearls on the front or not, but it's a really fun little going out outfit and nothing that would take up too much space in your suitcase. And then to tie it all together, I did add that raffia belt. It's part of a set of three I've had for a few years now. And I think everybody needs this set because it can be used on so many things and it can fit so many body types. I think it's one of the best things that I've ever bought from Amazon, but that's the dressed up version. Now, if you wanna take it down a notch and make it way more casual, the first thing is to swap out any kind of heel for flats. So these sandals, again, I've had for years. You've probably seen a ton of influencers wearing them and that's because they are just a great staple. They go with so many things, pants, skirts, dresses, all kinds of situations. They're just one of those go-tos. And they do come in a bunch of colors, but I love the saddle leather because no matter what you're wearing, whether it's black, brown, a color, it all works. And then just to tie it all in together, I chose a crossbody that had a similar color to the sandals and it's very casual. And I'm excited to tell you that they've released more colors in this bag, including one that's also raffia with black trim. So that is sitting in my cart. Definitely ordering that, I'm really excited for that. I've raved about this dress in quite a few videos and I'm gonna continue because I love it so much. This one I'm wearing in a small and I easily see this with flip flops as a cover up to wear to the beach. But if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, no pun intended, and have it do double duty, especially if it's something you've packed with you to take on vacation, add some fun accessories. I love this very spring appropriate necklace. We've talked about florals for spring. I've talked about pearls for spring. This combines the two. It's a strand of freshwater pearls with a daisy flower charm that is removable. So if you just wanna wear the pearls on their own, you can. I will tell you that the necklace itself is on the pricier side. Those are real freshwater pearls, but the dress is under $40. It doesn't have pockets, which makes it like an eight out of a 10, but this fun, bright, orangey, tangerine, what color would you call that? It's just fun. It's a fun color and I love adding it with the platform sandals. So it still has sort of a beachy vibe, but I've dressed it up just a little bit. We're getting to the home stretch. So dress number six actually turned out to be one of my all time Amazon bestsellers for February. Y'all are loving this dress and so am I. So it's sort of like the basic t-shirt tiered dress we were seeing a lot the last couple of years, but most of the versions that I've seen of it end right at or above the knee. And I know not everyone is comfortable wearing dresses at that length. So I appreciate that this is a long maxi dress, but it's very thin weight. So there's no, I was gonna say there's no weight to it. So it's not heavy. It's not gonna add any warmth to your body, which this time of year I can very much appreciate. Love that it has pockets and yes, it has fabric to it, but it, it skims the body. So I feel like it doesn't add any weight, any bulk to how it looks. Of all the outfits that I'm sharing with you, this is probably my most sort of go-to look as we're easing into summer, where I will throw on a utility jacket. I love this new one. I love the color. I love the little kind of quilted details to it. I love the weight of it. It's 
fabulous. It layers over so many great things. I think it layers really nicely over this dress. I love navy and olive together. I'm still wearing those slides from previous, from two, I guess, previous dresses, but this dress goes really well with heels as well, like a stack or block heel, like my braided sandals. And I should say, I'm wearing this in a size small, and I feel like this is gonna be my summer dress uniform for sure. And then I wanted to finish with, I don't wanna say it's my favorite, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I feel really pretty when I put this one on. Now, if this big floral print is not your thing, I get it. I own this dress in two or three other options. I have one other print for sure, and then I think one, if not two, solids. So, this dress comes in a ton of solids and it comes in a bunch of really fun prints as well. Runs true to size. Um, this one is in a small. So I love a v-neck. If you are a chesty girl, you're gonna love a v-neck. I wanted again to show this dress how you could wear it two very different ways if you happen to pack this with you on vacation or if you just wanna get the most bang for your buck. You're not going anywhere, but you wanna be able to wear this dress for more than one thing. So for every day, walking around, sightseeing, whatever, easy way to dress this down, first of all, throw in a baseball hat. Pair of sunglasses, these are the same sunglasses as the black ones you saw before, but with silver frames and pink mirrored lenses. I'm wearing my favorite white sneakers. They have a tiny little wedge platform in the heel, so just add a little bit of lift, but the shoes do run big, I should say, so size down a half in those. And that's your kind of casual everyday look, super easy. But then let's say you wear that to walk around all day, you're doing some sightseeing, whatever, and then you're going straight to dinner. Easy to change out. So how about the shoes? So again, we're seeing those braided sandals. I love shoes, but I will admit, I've said this before, I tend to get two, three pairs per season and that's all I wear. So if you're getting sick of seeing these braided shoes, I'm sorry, but they are not going anywhere. And then swap out your bag. Take the crossbody out and I love this little clutch. They're calling them dumpling bags because they look like little dumplings. And this one does have a little gold chain to it if you want to carry it over your shoulder or you can carry it like a clutch. And now it's a totally different look for evening. So there you have it. There are seven super easy to wear, very figure flattering, very affordable dresses you can wear every single day in spring and summer. Just a few ideas of ways to wear them. I'd love to hear from you. Are you a dress girl? How do you like to wear your dresses? If you aren't someone who loves to wear a dress, did I change your mind? Would you consider it? I would love to know. And also thank you to Necessaire for sponsoring part of today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun wishing you warm weather so that you can wear some of these fun dresses and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>